Today's test is a test of the 2500 watt ZVS induction heater using a 40 amp DC to DC solid state relay to control the current to the heater in an on off manner. This is one of these DC to DC SSRs that requires a what's it say 3 to 32 volt DC input and all I've done is to add a simple toggle switch right here that uh, is uh, borrowing some of the 12 volts that I use to run the uh, water pump and the and the fans and so I can switch the current on and off with the DC to DC solid state rectifier. So for today's test, all I'm going to do is to measure the approximate temperature of this piece of water pipe that's sticking down in this crucible with a thermocouple here that I will read on this uh, scale, uh, on this meter. So I'm going to pretend that I am a on-off temperature controller by throwing the switch on and off while I watch the meter and try to maintain some general range of temperature. So for today, all we're really interested in is, uh, uh, is seeing the temperature of the heat sink for the solid state temperature controller and just to see what happens uh, as we run the thing. And we're going to run in the range today of, uh, of 20 to 30 amperes with this 40 amp solid state relay. So you won't need to be seen in here. I'm trying to just do the best I can to, to show the the meters <coughs> that I'm talking about. So this one is going to show me the, the temperature and I'm going to try to control that little piece of water pipe that's down in the crucible at around five or six hundred degrees Celsius, okay? And, uh, but the important ones for everybody are to see how much the, uh, the, the uh, temperature rise we get in the solid state relay and and watching the current and making it, and watching the current and making sure that the SSR doesn't blow out I've already had a 100 amp unit quote unquote 100 amp that I'll talk about at another point or maybe I've already talked about it a fail miserably at only 40 amps so this 40 amp one I think is a better one and I've run it up to 30 amps and it turns on and off and doesn't short out like the 100 amp one did uh, successfully and maybe we'll talk about that too later but again the main part of the test is just to see what happens as I turn this switch on and off when I turn it off does the current go down or does the SSR short out dead that's the test and if it's successful this is the whole point really many people have asked if one could control the power going to the uh, work coil and as I have said many times in the past I don't think it's a good idea to try to do that uh, within the ZVS power supply itself other induction heaters certainly can but I think what we need to do uh, is to keep the voltage up at 48 volts and just control uh, the on off of the power as needed. So we'll begin the test shortly. Okay here we go. 
I will uh, be reading you the current and uh, and the numbers. Remember, uh, the most important meter are the amp meter. We don't want to go over about 30 amps or so. Um, uh, the uh, uh, meter that's reading the temperature that I'm trying to control and this one the heat sink temperature in degrees Fahrenheit this unfortunately is in degrees C so anyway here we go so we start out at 25 amperes and remember this is a piece of steel so once it reaches the Curie point the temperature is going to go down I'm seeing 210 C here and I'm shooting for five to six hundred degrees Celsius and notice the current went up as the uh, as the uh, iron as the steel heats up but before it reaches the Curie point now we're up 28 amps starting to glow down in there you don't need to see that the temperature is 400 degrees Celsius and now we've reached the Curie point and temperatures dropped all the way back to 15 amps uh, that's okay I mean it'd be nice if it was more current but that's for today and if I someday get a controller I'm going to turn the power off and the amp meter went to zero which is success we didn't blow out the SCR now of course the temperature continues to climb here because that you know we're, uh, uh, we're catching up so to speak so I if I was a temperature controller uh, I would turn the temperature off and we'd see a fairly wide sprint swing in uh, in temperature here between off and on because the part is not very heavy so now we see the temperatures dropping 610 the uh, heat sink is uh, 70 degrees uh, by the way I just want to point out that the power supply is sitting here and it blows its fan blows out the back and it's blowing right on the heat sink that the SSR is mounted on by the way okay 579 I'll turn the power back on temperature goes or the current goes back to 29 amps because we went below the Curie point so we're cycling right around that Curie point temperatures going up again so I'll turn it off temperature continues to rise 602 603 606 7 69.3 on the heat sink still Six fourteen. Now the temperature start to drop. If I was a PID controller, I'd know uh, some things about what, how much heat to put on. In other words, I'd turn it on now, and then maybe just turn it off in a couple of seconds before I even see much temperature change, anticipating what's about to happen. So off again, and it went off. And again, today's experiment is to see if this particular SSR, DC to DC SSR, can handle uh, this switching on and off with this uh, inductive circuit. So this time we went up to 625 or thereabouts. Temperature started to drop again. So we're messing around right at the Curie point of that particular piece of water pipe. I think it's what, three quarter inch water pipe? that's I don't know inch inch and a half long doesn't matter the idea is it's just something to use as a load that we can measure the temperature of to pretend to be a temperature controller 28 amps again 590 591 2 I'll just turn it off right there 601 602 69.6 degrees on the heat sink I just put my finger, my thumb on the top of the SSR and I can't feel any warmth at all. Of course there is a fan blowing on it now. Back on again, 28 amps, 603, 604, 605, 607, right through the Curie point right there. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Six twenty six, six twenty seven, six twenty seven, six twenty six. 
621, 620, turn it on again. So I don't know, I, I, you know, uh, after, after doing this for a few minutes like this, uh, you know what, I didn't turn my timer on, but I don't know, I guess we could look at the video and see how long this has been doing this, but uh, uh, I, I think this is a success. I think this particular uh, DC to DC SSR is a good candidate for this uh, temperature, this power range. 617, 614, turn it back on again, 28 amps. That's three-fourths of the rated 40 amps for this thing. 620, turn it off. And the people who know more than I do about the electronics of these solid-state relays, DC solid-state relays, uh, say that uh, the inductance is the big issue here. Uh, the kickback when you turn the thing off. Six twenty-seven, six twenty-six. Power back on again. Twenty-eight amps. Six twenty-one, six twenty-two, six twenty-three. Turn it off. I really don't think that leaving it on for a long time is that much of an issue. Um, so at any rate, I would declare this a success. Let's just leave it on for a little bit here. I know we'll go through the Curie point. And where we're going to stabilize, it looks like about 14 amperes minus the idle current of 6. We're only putting about 8 amps at 50 volts, roughly, uh, 400 watts into the work coil, which is sitting in a crucible. And now it's down to 12 amps. and 690 degrees Celsius. So, just one little aside here. So, for, for instance, if you wanted to heat this particular piece of work, this piece of three-quarter inch pipe, up a lot hotter than 700 degrees Celsius, which is roughly where it is right now, you'd have to use a different work coil design to get beyond the carry point and get much power. We're running about 11 and a half amps right now. 712 Celsius, that's about as high as that's going to get. So there you have it. We've got our heat sink up to 71 degrees. The top of the SSR is cool to the thumb. Turn the power off here. I suppose we could go on like that all day. But I think I've proven that one can control uh, the uh, power, on-off power, to the ZVS induction heaters uh, with a solid-state relay, a DC solid-state relay. We wouldn't want to do this with an AC solid state relay and turn the power supply on and off, would we? Because the delay in the power supply coming up to full output will latch uh, uh, the SC or, or the uh, MOSFETs in the induction heater on and we would be in big trouble. One last shot at it here.
Okay, that's the end of the test.